I finally thought I was done with the PlayStation Classic, but no, I'm not. We have a new awesome build from Magnus RC. I know the Sega Genesis Mini's right around the corner, and a lot of people are excited for that. But no, we still got some cool stuff going on with this cheap emulation device that's doing amazing things. So he dropped this build, this 128 gigabyte build, and I am extremely impressed what I've seen so far. There's a lot of cool things that we've never seen done on a PlayStation Classic build. He's done custom playlists for hacks and homebrews for some retro systems. We got all our box arts in here. We've got special bezels for a lot of original PlayStation games from the Bezel Project that just look amazing. A lot of cool little features. He's done some stuff with the, the cover database to make sure the Japanese games have unique covers. There was a lot of effort and thought put into this build and I have been blown away. So I wanna showcase this, kind of share it with you guys today, show you what you'd be in store for with this build. So we do have a Rick and Morty theme going on. He did include a ton, a literal shiz ton of themes for the menu and Evolution UI. So you're covered on that uh, if you don't like the Rick and Morty stuff. Uh, pretty much there's all of the themes I've ever seen on this available to be loaded up for whatever style you like. We're gonna leave it to the Rick and Morty one for now because that's what it is stock. But as you see, it's very easy to change. Um, we're not gonna go through all the menu stuff. We've done that in previous videos. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, music as well. I have it muted just in case, but you have those options as well. If you're interested in learning more about auto bleam and hacking and modding, I do have a PlayStation Classic playlist. Link is in the description. You can definitely check that out, but let's just jump right into this. Take a look at the amazing stuff we got. So there's a lot of imports too that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, pick a foot and game, Morty. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Nice little touch. Um, so on this build, we do have our 20 games that are included on the system, plus 169 games for PlayStation, plus the tons of retro consoles that really like make this build shine. And I'll showcase that in a minute with those custom playlists, uh, but included, oh, he also has a favorites list he set up. That's pretty cool. You can always add favorites of your own. Uh, showcasing 189 games here, that's what the 20 included uh, on the system, plus the 169 he added to this. So let's just scroll through. I'm not gonna name off everything, uh, but he has a lot of cool things. All the classics you would expect, um, plus a lot of those Japanese imports that I think are pretty cool to see on here. Uh, you got all your Castlevanias, your Capcom games, Jacobo Racing, love it. Contra, all the Crash games. Let me show you real quick um, what I'm talking about with the bezels. So a lot of these games have a custom bezel. Uh, some of them, if they don't have a custom bezel, they'll just load up with the PlayStation bezel. But if you wanna run these through RetroArch to have those bezels and RetroArch options, on the screen, you would just hit square instead of X to load it that way. So let's just take a quick look and see what this, this game looks like with the bezel. So I know a lot of them have a special bezel. So there you go, a little crash. Bandicoot, Bandicooter, bezel there. Really cool, interesting to see that kind of stuff. Like I said, not a lot of people are implementing uh, these, you know, all these little unique touches into builds. So it's an inspiration if you wanna do your own or build upon somebody else's build. I think that is really cool. Um, I do have another build that I combined a bunch of people's stuff into a 256 gigabyte build. Then I kind of added some extra stuff of my own. Um, and I really dug that. But so far with this being a 128 gigabyte build, I am really impressed. And I'm thinking I'm gonna build upon this one from all the, the cool stuff I've seen here. Um, so let's just keep going, see what we all got on here. Dino Crisis, Dodon Pachi, Don Pachi. This right here is our Symphony of the Night, uh, Cotton, Final Fantasy, I'd probably add the other Final Fantasy games as well on here. Uh, even though you have access to the old school games, I mean, I guess you don't really need them, uh, but you can add the PlayStation one. You can add whatever you want. You know, you got the cover databases on here. Hermy Hopperhead, Harmful Park's a really awesome game. The Hot Shots game's definitely cool. What else we got up in here? Knockout Kings, the Lunar game's awesome. What is it? Macross, do you remember love? I do. And I, and, and I love Macross. Come on now. All the Capcom stuff. Mega Mains. Got the Mega Mans up in here. Metal Slug X. Hells yeah. Odd World, Panzer Bandit. Uh, Parasite Eve 1 and 2. Parasite Eve is one of those games that, you know, would have issues, but he does have it set up. Uh, yep, he's got everything set up here, so the game runs perfectly fine, because if you don't do those specific settings, 
uh, you might not be able to get past the first screen. You know, that was the one game that everybody had discovered doesn't run properly, but it's fixed. And on this build, he has that fix implemented. Pepsi Man, what is this? Poo Li Rula? What? I'm going to have to check that one out at some point. Uh, we'll check out some of the homebrews and hacks. I don't want to spend a bunch of time playing games. Just want to kind of showcase everything that's on here. So there's a ton of stuff for a 128 gigabyte build. Uh, what else do we got? Roll Cage, Salamander, Sexy Parodius. That's a fun one as well. Uh, simple character, Gotcha Man. Nice. I'm familiar with a lot of these Japanese games, but there's a lot that I've like, I don't even know what the heck this is, but it's going to be interesting. A lot of cool stuff to discover here. Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold. Uh, what else? All the Street Fighters. The EX games I loved as well. Strider, Super Robot, Shooting, Siphon Filters, Tatsunoko Fight. Awesome. Glad to see that here. Thrill Kill, Thunderstorm, all, both of the Tobles, and my favorite, Tomba. And Tomba 2. Tomba 2 is okay. Two Tenkaku, Bukaki, what? I don't know that game. Might have to check that out at some point. We'll probably do like a live stream coming up. So I got some free time to where I can readjust things. We'll probably be streaming some PlayStation Classic gameplay. Testing this image out. Why not? Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Um, but from here, with this newest version of AutoBleam, we're going to hold L2 and hit Select. It's going to bring up our uh, platform selector so we can run these games or select our games in a little prettier style through the Evolution UI. So let's go through what we got here. ColecoVision 154, uh, FB Alpha 142. That's going to be Neo Geo. MAME 364, Turbo Graphics 93, Turbo CD, PC Engine CD 30, Super Graphics 5, PC Engine 192, uh, Game Boy Advance 141, Game Boy Color 532, 648 on the original Game Boy, uh, Nintendo 64, 11 DS 60, NES Hacks. This is the stuff we're going to focus on because there's some really interesting stuff here. 58 games, original NES 797, Super Nintendo Hacks 47, and then Super Nintendo regular games. 1045, Virtual Boy 25, 32X 35, Game Gear 312, uh, Master System 358, Mega Drive Genesis Hacks 17, and then 927 on Genesis. Sega CD 57, SG 1074, Neo Geo Pocket Color 76, so that'd be Pocket and Pocket Color. Uh, PlayStation Portable Network 10 games, that is cool. I haven't seen anybody throwing these on here before, or these hacks, not in the way that he's done it uh, with all this uh, custom playlist. Let's take a look at the uh, PlayStation Portable Network. This is something interesting here. So I haven't taken a look at these games yet on this list, but okay, these are network games uh, that didn't have physical releases. That is cool. Pac-Man Championship Edition, Retro City Rampage, Solitaire, Tetris. That is cool. Let's load one up and then jump into the other uh, hack systems. Just see how this uh, looks and runs. That's cool. This is a really cool game. Man, there, there's a lot to discover here, guys. There's a lot to discover. Championship Edition. This is really, I mean, I've already said it, but this is a really fun game. We're not going to play for the full five minutes, just for a second. Let's see how this this goes. Nice. I mean, this isn't an overly complex game, but it's still really interesting to see this on here. Running pretty good. Really love, love seeing PlayStation uh, PSP. You know, any of the Sony stuff, the Sony systems on here. There we go. Let's get out of that. That's cool. Really cool to see those network games on there. That is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get back into the game list. Where are we? Uh, let's see what, what uh, PSP games real quick. We're not going to play any of these. Okay. It's the ones that we normally have in a lot of these lists. That's cool. All right. Let's go into NES hacks. See what we got in there. <laughs> awesome. I already see stuff. I'm like, what? We got Alien 3 Plus, Angry Birds. Be, I'm not going to name everything. We'll just scroll through. Bunch of Castlevania hacks. Awesome. Double Dragon Chuck Norris edition. That's interesting. I didn't really... I've played that before. I don't really care for it, but neat to see that here. Uh, DuckTales 2 two-player version. Excite Bike 2. Extra Mario Bros. Final Fantasy 7. Flappy Bird. Freddy vs. Jason. God of War. Kaizo Mario. Legend of Zelda DX. Uh, Link's Shadow. The Outlands. Return of Ganon. Wrath of Ganon. Mario Adventure, Mega Man in the Mushroom Kingdom, that's a fun one. That's an awesome one. Dark Alliance Metroid, 
Metroid, Del there's a, man, these are some of the most popular ones out there for, for hacks. Mother 25th anniversary, Metroid Mother, uh, Restoration Ninja Gaiden 3, Pepsi Man, Rambo, Rick and Morty, Roll Chan, Roll Chan 2. Oh, okay, these are the uh, the Mega Man hacks with uh, Roll, Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Contra HD, Super Luigi Bros, uh, Cooperative Mario Brothers, Quadruple X Mario Bros, Extended Edition Mario 3. Crowned Edition, the Rainbow Realms, 3-Mix. Three 3-Mix three is really awesome as well. Mario Ultimate, that's fun. Super Smash, Super Wario, uh, Ultimate Edition Ninja Turtles, uh, some kind of Manhattan Project hack, Terminator, Legend of Zinc, Legend of Zinc, Legend of Link, The Shadow of Night, and then Back to the Beginning. A lot of cool stuff here. Let's, uh, where's that Rick and Morty game? I, I have to, I just have to boot that one. We got to see what the hell that is. I'm not familiar with this one. But yeah, this is really where this build is going to shine, in my opinion. Um, okay, it's a Pax and Dave game, so it's like, it's got to be like a hack of something. I'm not familiar. It's time to get Schwifty in here. There we go. Oh, I should have picked Rick. Interesting stuff. So there's going to be a lot of uh, cool, weird things to mess around with. Uh, some of these games are going to be... Yeah, you know, like palette swaps or sprite swaps, that kind of thing. Some are going to be a little more involved. Kind of Mr. Me Seeks over here. But there you go. There is that. That is cool. That's cool to see that. Never played that before. But else, yeah, we got tons of stuff here. Let's uh, let's go check out what else we have. So that was the NES hacks. Let's take a look at the Super Nintendo hacks. Bonsai Mario World. So there's going to be obviously a bunch of Mario World hacks. Chrono Trigger Uncensored, Crimson Echoes, Flames of Eternity. Man, all the Chrono Trigger uh, hacks. Final Fantasy VI Uncensored, Final Fight Tough, Grand Pooh World, Hyper Street Kart, Invictus, Kaizo, Legend of Zelda, The Goddess of Wisdom, Mario Kart R, a bunch of Metroid hacks, Old School Edition NBA Jam, NBA Jam 2K20 Tournament Edition, uh, New Super Mario World 2, Sailor Moon Fighter S, Wow, Super Castlevania 4 Uncensored Edition. So that's going to be like the translated Japanese version, maybe? Uh, Super Luigi Land, Mario Arcade, Invaders of Mushroom King. A lot of stuff I've never heard of here. Legend of Seven Stars Revolution Edition, the Lost Adventure episode. Several of those. Second Reality Project. Like I said, a lot of Mario World hacks. The Return to Dinosaur Land, that one is fun. Super Metroid Game Boy Advance version style. Wow. So back to the beginning here. Let's just jump into one real quick. See what to do. <laughs> Hopefully this game we can just jump right into it. Oh, nice, nice little bezel. Super Mario World hacks. That's cool. One day Mario was hangry. He went out to eat some... Some what? A delicious dragons on the island. He went out to eat some. He went out to eat dragons. Holy shiz. Okay, this is already starting out. Journey's beginning. Different map. Different map. Okay. Wow. It's got some like Super Mario World 2 uh, style stuff going on here. This is interesting. Shit. Oh well. But there you go. There is that. Let's check out what other hacks we got on here. That was pretty interesting. Don't want to spend a bunch of time playing a game and getting lost on this video, losing the focus of what we're trying to look at. We ain't trying to do all that. We just want to preview Genesis hacks. Sonic hacks. I knew we would have some Sonic hacks. Final fight of Rage 2. Oh uh, man, Kirby and Sonic. What? Sonic 1 Mega Mix. Pink Edition, okay. Retro Remix, Sonic 3 Complete, awesome. Sonic Boom, Classic Heroes, Street Fighter of Rage 2, some Street Fighter hacks. Hulk Hogan Edition, what? <laughs> Syndicate Wars, uh, Streets of Rage, Teenage Mutant Ninja, I've played that one before. Tales and Sonic 1. Okay, some familiar, familiar uh, hacks here. Let's test out this Kirby one real quick. Like I said, man, there's a lot of cool stuff on here. If you just... There we go, Sonic Hacks. Got a little custom bezel for this this one right here. Or for the Sonic Hacks, anyway. <laughs> the 
<laughs> that Kirby looks like like a freaking nightmare. That don't look like Kirby to me. Man. Okay, now now it looks like Kirby. Oh shit. Kirby's. Oh, whoa. All right, this is kind of this is a little awkward. It's a little awkward seeing a little pink bastard instead of Sonic. And he can kind of like do a little double jump or or what? This little air gulp. Okay, I, like I screwed up right there. This little air thing, kind of strange. Huh. Well, that's different. I mean, that's that's different. Do we got to spin? Oh shit! He just. Wow, that's funny. That that's cool. That's a cool little thing. Let's see if we got anything else. I think that was it for the hacks. I think that might have been it. As far as the hacked systems. What else do we got? 32x. Yeah, I think that was it. So, so there you guys go. Tons of awesomeness. Let's see what's in the uh, PSP stuff. Okay, all the normal, the normal stuff. Tons of games here, man. Tons of awesomeness. Let's take a look. Turbo Graphics. Okay, it's all the TG16 games. It's pretty much everything, everything released. That's cool. CD games. Cool. So there you guys go. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I'll probably stream this another day, maybe tomorrow. Uh, just check out some more games, just play, hang out with you guys. But I just wanted to show, showcase this, share some of the stuff that's on here with you guys, give you a little taste. But there you go. Go to the usual places. I have a Discord, Facebook group, links in the description, and all the other places. You guys know I can't specifically, you know state anything but for those of you in the know check out my discord there's a lot of playstation classic help things going on there you got questions that's the place to go facebook group all that good stuff really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me and with that said i will catch y'all next time peace out bye bye and boom bye